I've received quite a bit of feedback about some of the design work I've been doing in Rhino 3D uh, for printing multi-rotor parts. And what I wanted to do is just every now and then share some quick tips uh, for designing in Rhino 3D to ultimately uh, be 3D printed. And in my case, I have a replicator too, so uh, I do all of my design work in Rhino and then print there. And so I've received a lot of feedback from users asking, hey, how do you do this in Rhino? And I'm by no means an expert. I'm just going to share um, some tips that I'm learning as I go, and hopefully you guys uh, can find it useful. The first tip was actually shared with me by a, us a YouTube user, FTPDP. He had watched uh, my APM video where I was uh, starting a proof of concept on a, a 3D printed case. And so in that video, I had taken a rectangle with rounded corners, such as this one, and then I'd actually created some holes for the mount. And so I'll go ahead and get these in place. Okay, and what I had done initially was I had extruded, let's just extrude this, about two units, and you'll kind of see the surface here. And then I'd gone and I'd used a command called make hole. So I'd gone and used, selected my surf or my curves that I wanted to make a hole with, did that, and now I select the surface that I'm going to make the hole in and then clicked and now you can see I have a part with four holes so that worked all well and good but the reality of it is that was way too complicated I could have easily saved a step and so I'm going to show you how to just do a, a multi-curve extrusion uh, in one step and not have to worry about making holes in your part okay so let me go ahead and back out of that and show you uh, basically here we have our rounded rectangle curve and then our four circle curves I'm just going to go ahead and select all of those and then I'm going to extrude and you can see that now I'll just do two units again and now I have a nice piece with my holes cut out so I'll go ahead and ex export that And now we'll go over to MakerWare. And now you can see our piece that we easily designed by doing the extrusion. And it's now ready to print with the replicator too. So that was just a quick tip I wanted to share for extruding uh, multiple curves together. It's very similar to what you can do in SketchUp. So I hope that was useful. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please post them and I'll continue to... Uh, share some of these tips as I work on uh, designing some different multi-rotor parts. Thanks for watching.